Bienvenido a otro video del Colegio Boston. No olvides suscribirte, activar la campanita, darle like y compartir. Hello everybody, welcome back to another section for third grade of primary school. I am teacher Cynthia and this is Mr. Tony and today we're going to know uh, to see new topics. Uh, so in this case, remember that first of all, uh, we need to familiarize it with new vocabularies, yeah? The topic that we want to see uh, today is about the negative and an affirmative form of the sentences, yeah? So in this case, the present simple. So, uh, do you remember that we saw the last class, the, last class, uh, the present simple, yeah? So, but in this case, today we're going to focus with the, uh, the affirmative and negative form. But first of all, we need to learn new vocabularies. We have new vocabularies for you today. Yeah? Are you ready? The vocabularies that we're going to, uh, that we're going to see is about traveling. So, the first vocabulary, please don't forget to repeat at home, yeah, is family. Repeat after me. Family. 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 Very good. So, the next word is visit. Repeat after me. Visit. Visit. Excellent. So, the next word is plane. Repeat after me. Plane. Plane. Very good. So, the next word is suitcase. Repeat that to me. Suitcase. Suitcase. That's good. The next word is pack. Repeat that to me. Pack. Pack. That's not. The next one is languages. Repeat that to me. Languages. Languages. That's good. And the last word is the last word is can. Repeat that to me. Can. Can. That's that's good. So guys, okay. So let's see the uh, let's do the same activity. So remember, we're going now. We're going to match the names with the correct picture. The picture they are behind me, Cynthia. So Miss Cynthia, you want uh, we need your help. So for matching the uh, the pictures and the name with uh, yeah. Of every picture. So you can see the pictures, please pay attention carefully of every single picture because I need your help too. Yeah? Are you ready? So the first word is can. Can. What do you think is the verb or is a picture, is a correct picture for this word? Can. Miss Cynthia, can you tell me please? What is can? Do you agree that it's can? Very good. So, the next one is about languages. Languages. Okay, languages could be hello, hola, guten tag, etc, etc, etc. Yeah? So, languages. So, tell me, Miss Cynthia, what is the right picture for this word? Very good. You can see the ball, uh, the children speaking different languages. Yeah, languages. That's good. So, pack. Pack. What is the right picture for this word? Pack. Pack. Very good, guys. That's good. So, the next one, we have family. Do you think this is family? <laughs> That's where. Okay, so tell me what is family? What is the correct picture for family? Miss Cynthia, can you show me yes. what is the right picture for this word? Suitcase. Suitcase. What is 
the best picture for this world. Suitcase. This is yeah. it. Suitcase. If you, if 
you want to talk about uh, the simple present but in negative form, the rule changes. Yeah? In this case, we have the negative form, the subject, that's going to be the same one, subject, plus the negative form, we have two kinds of auxiliary. Okay, that's the same auxiliary. Is the auxiliary do? Or uh, that's the auxiliary do, but in the negative form is don't. Or doesn't. Yeah? Plus the main verb. Plus complement. It's clear? Very good. Remember, we have the subject in negative form, don't or doesn't, it depends about the person that we were talking about, and verb, and for the last thing is complement. So, the subject in affirmative form plus verb plus complement. I watch TV. Okay, so first, to explain this one, when do we use don't and when do we use doesn't? We use don't for first, uh, for the rest of the person, like I, you, we, and they. And doesn't just for the third person in singular. If you want to talk about the third person in singular, you use doesn't in negative form, yeah? I watch TV. Do you think that I, if you want to change a uh, negative form, I doesn't watch TV? It's correct. Okay, Ms. Cynthia, can you help me? What do you think is the correct auxiliary for uh, a negative form for this example? I watch TV. If you want to change a uh, negative form, how do you write in negative form? I watch TV. Okay. Okay, yes, now next please. please. Subject plus verb with the correct conjugation 
at S and complement French. So, Miss, can you help me? What can you tell me, please? Tell me what is the correct uh, the correct word in negative in negative of the simple present with the second example. Okay, he doesn't. He he because he's the boy. Could be yeah, it's correct. Missing the auxiliary. What he say is doesn't doesn't. Why doesn't? Remember that doesn't is for third person singular. What are the third person singular? He, she, and it. Very good. For that reason, uh, she used he doesn't. Doesn't doesn't what? Speak. Speak. Speaks. That is the verb and. The complement, what is? French. French. Do you think that is correct? Do you think? Pay attention guys, please don't confuse. This is the affirmative form, simple present, third person in singular, you add X. I explained you before this topic, yeah? Do you remember? So, the function is not the same. If you are using the auxiliary doesn't, it's not necessary to add S for the third person in singular. It's he doesn't speak in French. Yeah? So, the number three. Let's see. Let's do another example. Um, they or in this case, we need a subject. My brothers. My brothers. My brothers. Um, I don't know, what do you think? My brothers eat apples. My brothers eat apples. Do you think that is correct? Yes, it's correct, because this is not third person in singular. It's third person, yes, but in plural. For that reason, it's just it. My brothers, subject, verb, it, complement, apples. Yeah, me, Cynthia, can you help me? Can you change the third example in negative form? Yes. My brother. My brothers, or oh, can you replace my brothers with other, uh, with other pronoun? Yes, they. They, very good. They don't. They don't eat apples. They don't eat apple. They don't eat apples. It's correct. Very good. So. Uh, the next one, maybe another example, let me see, the last example, the last example, guys, let's do a, another example, the last example, maybe it could be, I don't know, what do you think, Miss? Can you tell me something, any example in affirmative form? Yes. You are. You. Are. You are mm, okay. Let me see. Let me see. You are before before following the with the same example with example guys. Please pay attention. Miss Cynthia say you are. Do you think that is correct? You are. In this case, could be, but let's focus with not with the verb to be. In this case, no explain verb to be. We use the the rest of the verbs. Eat, jump, run, walk, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, in this case, we are not going to use are. Can you help me with just other example, with another example, with other verb, please, please? You write the You book. write. You okay? You write the homework. Now, is 
it's your turn to change, you write the homework. Can you change the last example in negative form? Okay. Thinking well, and you have five seconds to change the, the, last, uh, the last example. You write the homework. You write is affirmative form. Subject, you. Verb, write. Complement the homework. Okay, if you thought that you doesn't write the homework, if you thought that doesn't is the right auxiliary, no, it's not correct. Because, remember that doesn't is for third person in singular. He, she, and it. And the, and the correct one, obviously, is... Don't. Don't. Very good. Excellent, guys. Excellent. It's clear? That's good. Okay, guys. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for your attention. And please... Don't forget to do your activities at home and please uh, check the link and send it by email to your teachers. That's all for today. See you soon. Bye bye.